What is up, guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, we have another Ask the Pros video. And our topic today is, why should I use something bigger than a mesh network? As an example, Google, Euro, Orbi, all great solutions, right? Well, today we're going to take a a little dive into the other options available for customers who need something a little bit more expansive and reliable. If you would like to purchase anything, home theater, networking, audio video related, make sure to reach out. We ship throughout the entire country and have an extensive preferred installer network as well. And our guys do free consultations. We'll FaceTime video conference with you, walk through your space, and tailor an exact package to fit your needs and budget. All right, guys, well, let's get into this video. Welcome back to another Ask the Pros video. Why may I need something bigger than your average consumer grade networking? We'll just say that. I threw out some names earlier. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. I got Kellen and Dave here with Dream Media on the Zoom. Who wants to kick it off? All right, I'll jump go in. Go ahead, Dave. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it, it's one of those things where it's always about it, it's like that delta between convenience and performance that, that we struggle with with a lot of things. I know in one of our other videos, we were talking about, you know, physical media. Does physical media really replace streaming or vice versa? And each, and each has a place for it. Well, with networking, I think we all know that increasingly everything rides on the network, um, whether or not we like that, whether it's wired or wireless. And, you know, speeds uh, from internet service providers and, you know, large, large parts of the country are fast enough where you want to try to maintain that in, with that wireless convenience. And one of the things that ends up happening with mesh networks is that, you know, each node has to talk back and forth to one another. And, you know, so if you're getting, you know, 300, 400 megabits per second on your, on your uh, speeds from your service provider, you're going to want to try to at least get really close to that uh, on the wireless side of things. Um, you know, and there's always that that gap between, you know, speed and, and coverage. And mesh networks do a good job of, of blanketing your home, depending on your square footage, obviously, you know, you do reach a, a limit to a certain degree. Um, but the important part is that, you know, with, with wired access points, where each one is wired back to the switch, um, you're maximizing uh, the potential that you are already paying for from your internet service provider. Uh, it's a little bit more secure and it really does mimic kind of a wireless tether to each one of your devices that you're they're toting around with you all the time. Um, it's just a higher grade of performance when we're talking about uh, control systems and automation systems. Some of the mesh networks out there are notorious for dropping devices that you're trying to control off of the network. And these are things that do not typically happen unless something is misconfigured with more of an enterprise grade, uh, I would call it a, a real network. <laughs> Don't mean to sound disparaging with mesh networks, but you know, it's a convenient solution that really a performance based. Well, let's just say this, you go to a hospital, they're not using Euro or a Google mesh <laughs> system. 100%, right. They're, they got people's lives <laughs> on the line, literally. And it's going to be the same whenever you get into like large homes, all my customers out there that have, let's just say like over 5,000 square feet. That's a good cutoff point under 5,000. You can get away with a lot of these um, consumer grade systems, even like uh, we'll, we'll use 5,000 as a number, but anything over 5,000, like you really want something more robust and something that is going to consistently every single day work and carry all those IP addresses. Um, Kellen, do you have anything you can build off of that? Yeah, I think it's just uh, performance, convenience, what, what's going to weigh out for your uh, specific needs. So, you know, a lot of the consumer grade items, the Google, the Orbeez, um, they can deliver um, for some folks, but if you really want to maximize 
you know, if you are paying extra for that gigabit speed coming into your house, um, why chop that in to a quarter of the speed through to your devices um, that potentially don't have good coverage or things like that. So, uh, um, you know, these, some of the items that we carry with Arachnus and Luxel, you know, they're, they're more really um, entry type of commercial grade or, or mid-level commercial grade equipment um, that's going into your home, uh, your home. So um, yeah, 3,000 3, to 5,000 square feet, you can definitely benefit. And then, you know, beyond that 5,000 square feet, I definitely think it's necessary to get a beefier system, uh, especially with working at home. Now there's, there's a lot of more use to just watching a couple of YouTube videos or, um, you know, checking emails. Now there's a lot of entertainment consumption. Uh, and if the, you, I use the verbiage, it's quality of life. Like literally right. our entire, every single year that goes by, I mean, everything in the house is connected. And if it's not staying on your network, if your network is solid, if you don't have that backbone, holding right. it all together <laughs> it's not going to be fun yeah no not and and with people working from home increasingly um you know that there's there's no there's no compromise and there's no ability reason uh basically for you not to have coverage and not to have all your devices working all the time it's it's less of a convenience at that point more of a, an absolute necessity and you know one of the things that that we see with uh you know, a lot of the, the more, I guess you could call it, you know, commercial grade or, or even the, the uh, enterprise grade stuff is just um, the ability to really dial in your coverage. I mean, you know, mesh networks, you have to kind of put them on a tabletop or someplace where, you know, you're trying to get in close proximity to the most lived in spaces, whereas with access points, you can drop them where they need to be. Um, obviously there's a point at which you can put them too close together and then it causes network congestion, but you know, that that's really not that uh, difficult of a thing to overcome. And so in your most lived in spaces, including outdoor spaces, you know, because they do have, um, uh, weatherproof devices, they can blanket your patio and your pool area with proper coverage as well. Um, it really does let you dial in for your specific home exactly, um, you know, all the coverage that you need and at the speeds that you expect and that, that you're paying for. Yeah. So you guys got to subscribe to the channel. I got this project um, that I'm actually pretty hands-on with out here in Colorado, 12,000 square foot home. Nobody was even considering uh, using the products, the uh, consumer grade products, because we want, like Dave said, every single area in that home covered at and they're all hardwired access points from Arachnus, and it is going to deliver that full speed, whatever he's paying for, to every single corner of that house. In addition to that, we're even running a fiber line out to the barn where he's going to have all his toys. So if he's wrenching on his side by side or his dirt bikes, he can get his emails and even do Zooms with his clients, whatever. And we're even putting an outdoor access point on the basketball hoop. <laughs> so the kids can hang out there and check their Facebook and Instagram, you know, again, quality of life, guys. <laughs> we got you covered here at Dream Media. Utilize our free consultation service. The guys are going to FaceTime with you and walk through that whole house and we're going to map it out and make sure that it is perfect. Again, the backbone of your system, guys. If you want that 4K movie to stream, and full res, we got to make sure you're getting the bandwidth. Everything's becoming more and more wireless every single day. And here at Dream Media, we don't want to just leave Wi-Fi out of, you know, the system. We had another video about um, physical media, you know. So we're, we're hitting on every single aspect and looking out for you guys. We want to make sure that we maximize the potential of your systems and that you live the good life. You guys have anything that you want to add in? I think that pretty much covers it. All right, guys. Well, we appreciate you watching our video. 
Um, if you're not subscribed already, smash the subscribe button down below <laughs> and give us a big thumbs up on this video. We ship throughout the entire nation. And if you're not a DIYer and some of these systems do seem a little bit intimidating, which they can be, we're going to lighten the load by making sure that you fully understand what you're purchasing. But in addition to that, we have an extensive preferred installer network that we're building throughout the entire nation to support my guys out there that are not going to DIY it. We got you covered here at Dream Media. Till next time, this is Zach, Dave, and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.